come in order to receive and renew the grace that God has given to us. Also ask from our Father, Papa, give us our daily bread. Then God provide yamfu yamfu to everyone. I pity those people that were at home that laughing at those that were going to church. I pray for you. This week will be better for you. Amen. This week, unexpected blessings coming to somebody. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Somebody say, yeah, I receive. I receive. I cannot hear you. I receive. Our sermon today is titled Don't Give Up in Life. Ah. Hey. Never ever give up in life. Tell your neighbor, never give up in life. Never give up in life. Don't give up in life. Don't give up in life. Amen. Amen. Now, in life, every man has what is called grace. Nobody on earth that God say go and suffer. Every man that who know herself about the things of God, they succeed in life. Many people today, I want to tell you about life. Every man, every girl, every boy, we are all rich people. But people out there, in order to attack our riches, people out there to attack our marriage. The woman that will not marry, don't insult her. The day is coming, she is going to marry. Because the people that who have married is not better than the person that will never marry. Oh, yes. The man that will never buy a car, never insult that person. That who never buy a car, you never buy a car, never try it. The time that when God sat with that brother, that when he, she knows or follow the things of God, then the brother would not buy more than the person that will also insult you. The man that will insult you in the house rates, say you cannot pay house rates. Madam, never give up. The brother or this landlord or landlady that who is insulting you that you cannot pay, pack out. Another person have taken over. Let me tell you, it's encouraging you in order to make it. The house that that brother is going to build is more than the house that the landlord has. Some time ago, inside Wari here, an hotel called Spring Garden. The hotel is still there. I paid this hotel about 35 million for one year as a rent. The hotel was dormant, was dead. No good thing was coming, no customer. After renting a hotel, the enemies came. The owner came. I'm the one that will provide a generator, power plants, onto the hotel. The way they were rushing the hotel, not for, for, for guests or for anything, for hotel business. But the customers are who are flying from abroad to messy land. We have no place to stay when you see the crowd like this. So I was forced to rent that apartment. The third month, the owner said, he has no interest in order to rent this apartment anymore. Not up to six months, three months plus. They said, we want to take our property. We don't have interest. Even to give you your money back, the brother is in Lagos or in abroad. You have to apply in order to receive the money. Who have come from all over, all over the world, I cried. One night, I cried unto the Lord. When I was crying, the Lord said, Do you know mustard seed? I said, I know mustard seed. He said, Go and carry mustard seed. Carry mustard seed. And that time, we have already we bought this place. The declaring was going on. He said, go and use this mustard seed in Mercy City at night hours and pray. After you pray, spread it. Spread the mustard seed onto Mercy City. Then I, the Lord, will give you what you are going to testify in the altar of God. Immediately I cried, I heard that voice because I want to now tell everybody to go and pay another different, different hotels because the owner said he don't want me anymore because of jealousy. Now, when I look at them, I have to go and take the mustard seed. After taking the mustard seed, I carry them messy city here, everywhere. 
Only, only the logs, the trees were down. All the places were open. I entered into the center of Mercy City. And I cried. Say, God, I look at the eastern parts. Say, Lord, you are the God that who sent me. I have no, no guest house to accommodate your people that who are coming all over the world. I have none. Nothing. No, no house. Now, the person that whom, where even I paid, they drove to me. I have no place to accommodate this people. If you are God that called me, I need what is called guest house. If you can give me even one of 30 rooms, I will congratulate you and I will enter into your altar and glorify your name. I had a voice. It says, spread it, spread it. Say, spread it. I now spread it to the east, to the north, south, and the west. I spread the mustard seed. I had a voice. It said, wash out. Wash out. Someone said, wash out. Wash out. Two days later, brother of here is here. Yeah, that's the young man. He said, there's a company, Chinese company about to leave this place. They have done with their work. We have potter cabins. So these potter cabins, they are selling them. A young woman called Honorable Christina. Congratulations. When I come to my history of life, I remember you. God will bless you all. So there are the two people that will say there is somebody that there that's selling these things. When I look at the account, how much? About uh, six million or seven or ten million. Thereof. When I look at my account, the money is there. Come on, give to them. I gave them that how they brought that how lost A stand there. When I come, there's no place for partners meeting. You know, lost A, that front, that center. That was my partners all. A poor man shall not pour forever. When somebody insults you, say you have not this one. That person is God is you to hold Jesus. God, I hold you. God, I hold you. That's how I now build the first house. Before I know, another one must be I imported from China. Before I know, all those ones simultaneously. All those houses and ones. All those ones are Mama said to you, goodness. All of them ones. God was providing for me from left and right. The Lord said, you see what I've told you, Abby? Remember the mustard seed. The mustard seed, the tree, in Israel, always spread to destination that which people don't expect it. Today, nobody will come and tell me that your people have nowhere to stay anywhere. Why? Because somebody insulted me. You are here. People have insulted you with one thing or the other. I ran to Jesus. I ran to Mercy City. That way you have run to. The same God that who have done for me will do for you this year. Amen. From this week, he will do for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me tell you something. The surprising thing. When I left the hotel, till today, no single person go to the hotel. No single person. That how your hotel is dead. It's dead. It's dead. Why I'm telling you this once? I'm talking about life. In life, there are some people build houses. They cannot enter into their houses. Some people they build house, but they cannot meet up and enjoy their houses. Some people they bought land, but they see their casket on their land. There are some people buy cars, but they carry their cars for accidents. Some died with even their cars. I'm talking about life. Any man that who comes to this world, my brother, my sister, there is a way I want to tell you people. Because of our sins that we are committing day and night, the enemies always attack us. We are given privilege because of our flesh to our enemies to take whatever thing that belongs to us. That's why we do come to church in order God to now cover us and also provide for us. The Bible says in the book of Judges, Judges 6 verse 1 to 10, it clearly stated, these are the Israelites. The Israelites, God loves them. 
but they disobeyed God. When they disobeyed God, God give them punishments. Any man that would disobey God, what belongs to you, the enemies have right to take it over from you. Any woman, any boy, you disobey God, we call it in other words called sin. Sin past sin. There are sins led us to death. There are sins that led us to suffer. This is called love that God loves us. But because of our disobedience, our enemies have right to take what belongs to us. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord. You see that? The children whom they loves, they did what's called evil in the sight of the Lord. And the Lord delivered them into the hand of the Midian. Seven years. Seven years punishment was given to his loved children. His lovely children. Let's go to two. And two says, And the hand of the Midian prevailed against Israel. And because of the Midianites, the children of Israel made them the tents which are in the mountains and caves and strongholds, the under punishment. And so it was. And when Israel had sworn that the Midianite came up, and the, the Amalekites and the Amaleks and the children of East, even they came up against them. And they encamped against them and destroyed the increase of the earth till thou God unto Gaza and left no substance for Israel. What is suffering is this. Neither sheep, nor ox, nor ass. For they came up with their cattle and their tents. And they came as grasshoppers. For multitude, for both they and their, their camels were without number. And they entered into the land of, to destroy it. And Israel was greatly impoverished because of Midianites and the children of Israel cried unto the Lord. Stop there first. These are children that whom God loves because of the disobedience God hand over them to the, the evil doers we call the witches and the wizards. The Midianites. These people, any farm that these people farm, these people that which they now went to, the land, they carry all their crops, all their banana, all their plantain, all their cocoa yams, all their cassavas, because they are in the land of the Midianites. They were oppressed. At times they destroy all their crops that they planted, which they were about to harvest. What a life is that? Why? Because of disobedience. That's why God allowed it to happen. Many problems that we have been facing because of our sins, our disobedience. That's why our good things, the enemies now are sacking what belongs to us from us. But something happened. Someone said something happened. Something happened. God never forgotten his children. No matter he allowed the devil to destroy them. He still remember his children. And it came to pass when the children of Israel cried unto the Lord because of the Midianites. Now look at it. They cried out because of suffering like us. We are yet to cry unto the Lord today. Because of what belongs to us, the enemies have taken it away. Some people are supposed to have millions. But they look at their accounts. Their accounts never pass one million in their life. That is not your wish of life. Because of our mistakes, our flesh, every flesh do mistake. That's why the Bible says in the book of 1 John 1, verse 9, 10 says, Who out there that can lift up his hand that I am not a sinner? That person calling Jesus a liar. So all of us will sin. Whether you're a pastor, bishop, anybody, prophet, you're a sinner. We sin against God. We live by his mercy. God will like this and cry to him. Then he now show mercy. He, he gives us whatever thing that belongs to us. That's why we come to the house of God after prayers. Things begin to happen for good. 
Today I prophesy to you. I receive. God will forgive you and give you your belonging in Jesus' name. Yeah. The houses that you are seeing in the dream, it is not for dream matter. Yes, sir, that is the house that you're supposed to build. But because of our mistakes, that's what we are seeing in the realm of the spirit. See, whatever thing you see in the realm of the spirit also manifests in reality. God allowed Satan in order to deal with us. Are you hearing me? We hear you, Papa. Because he loves the Israelites, but he allowed the, the, the Midianites in order to deal, deal in order to deal with them. And the Lord sent a what? Prophet. A what? Prophet. When you now look around, the people are suffering. God wants to withdraw the mistakes that we have done, the sins that we have committed. He sent a prophet. He sent what? A prophet. In order to save them. Now, unto the children of Israel, which said unto them, Thus said the Lord God of Israel, I brought you up from Egypt and brought you forth out of the house of what? Bondage. Hey. Now you have come. I don't care about the sins that you have sinned against God. Jesus did not look unto the sins before he gave a man miracle. Jesus did not look unto your mistakes that before he gave you a miracle. Jesus did not look unto you sins before he provided for you. Jesus looked unto mercy. He looked unto mercy. He looked unto your life and show mercy to the people and give them what belongs to them. Yes, now, many people are supposed to drive cars today, but the enemies have attacked it. Some time ago, you drove car. In your dream, where is the car in the physical? Hey. A beautiful car in a dream is people have attracted. A prophet was sent in order to rescue them, in order to bless them. Yes, sir. Let's go down. And I deliver you out of the hand of what? Egyptians. And out of the hand of all that oppress you. I don't know whether from Ojobo that oppress you, I don't know. Whether from your village, I don't know, landlord hey. that pressing you or you are hinted that making you talk off your phone. Yes, from today, as a prophet, I prophesy to you. I will say, this week, God will do you something. Hey. God will make you to testify hey. in the name of Jesus. Hey. Something happened. Tell us, the Bible says something happened. Something let's happened. go down. Let's go down. And I said unto you, I am the Lord your God. Fear not. The gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell, but ye have not obeyed my voice. Let's go to 11. <laughs> and there came an angel of the Lord and sat under the ark which was in Hophel that pertained unto Joas and there as a and his sons, Gibeon, dressed us with by the wind's press to hide it from the Midianites. I pray for somebody. I receive. Today, anything that don't want you to receive what belongs to you, let God take away that thing away from your life. Hey, May God delete that thing out of your life. Hey, In the name of Jesus. Hey, now listen. In life, the man that who have known, who cannot do what you have done, the brother is going to come in order to now struggle with you, the what you have. Your own personal cars. They will come and struggle with you and take it from you. Tell your neighbor, don't give up in life. Don't give up in life. You are a pilot. You are a pilot. Never give up. Never give up. Look at that bed. That bed is an ark. We call from the eagle family. That bed tries struggle with what God has given to it in order to dive into the water to bring out fish for daily bread. Listen to me and watch your screen. And this bed, in order to now to move out with this fish, to struggle what God has given, the talent and the grace have given to it. It's called kite family. So, as it was going with the fish, that fish is it that caught the fish. No other bed. On the way going, like where you are today, another Beds are also washing and came 
to attack the bed. In order to take the fish that which he wanted to now eat for his daily bread with him for struggle. I'm talking about your life. When I look at it, the thing that happening we call at that bed is called goyled. Goyled came in order, in order to take the fish. But the ark never given up. Tell your neighbor, don't give up in life. Don't give up in life. He never give up. He still struggle in order to go and take the fish. And the fish was still going. Now, the girls also trying in order to take it. They never give up. In order to take the fish, the daily bread from the, the ark. But the eagle is still flying higher. God has given eagle a limit to fly about 30,000 feet above sea level. But the gold cannot go. The gold fly 4,000 feet above sea level. So God has given, the, the, no matter the struggle, where he is flying to, because that's what God has given to every man. The gold cannot get to that place where he is flying to. He has to fly above the gold in order to cast his daily bread for his daily life. When the gold try the best, in order to take it from him when it look at it the goal try the best and bigger than even him like the strong man in your village they are bigger than you in his realm of the spirit they are bigger than you in every ramification in life but what god has given to you you where you supposed to be those that who know god they have to fly so the eagle fly above where the goal flight reach so the gold could not reach where the eagle is. That's how the victory of the blessings of the eagle. Ah. I prophesy to somebody. I will see. Any man or woman oh. that flying in the night hours oh, yeah. for your sake. Yes. In order to take away your houses. Ah. In order to take away your cars. Oh. And so today, oh. the grace of Jeremiah. Begin to make it to fly above no. your enemies no. in the name of Jesus. No. I don't know no. whatever place a struggle with you. No. I prophesy to somebody. No. Whatever place a struggle with you, no. or whatever you have, I am seeing you no. at the altar. No. If the coins can no. attack, no. I can never, never, never. No. from today. No. Your blessing will fly above your enemies. I prophesy to somebody We are the plan to struggle with you With your marriage They can never ever succeed Because what God has given to you Is more than fair I prophesy to somebody I don't know your building and your cars I don't know your expectations I don't know your account But God is the one who provides God said you go and sweat And succeed Who are thou in your village Who are thou in your company, hey. who are that strong woman hey. that say you will suffer forever? Hey. Hey, they are liars. Hey. Whatever place they have, hey. as an eagle hey. fly above the coil, hey. so also hey. the coil cannot reach up. Hey. So also your enemies, hey. they cannot reach where you are. Hey. Your enemy will serve you. Hey. They 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 will celebrate with you. Hey. They will celebrate with you. Hey. They will celebrate with you. Hey. They will serve you. Hey. I prophesy the I don't know where you are flying to. I don't know the strong woman. I don't know the strong woman in your community, in your village. I don't know that wicked woman. I don't know that wicked friend. I don't know that unfriendly friend who jealous about what God has given to you. I don't care. But today I speak to you. You are flying above your enemies. You are flying above your enemies. You are flying above what belongs to you. Every life of a man is just a trial. I speak to you. Your life, no matter the trial, what belongs to you is belong to you. What belongs to you, you belong to you. No wonder the Bible says in the book of Abok, Abok 
to dream. There is a proper time for every man to succeed. I speak to your life. I speak to your car. Let this week be a better time of success. Let this week be a better time of healing from that sickness. Let this week be an appointed time for your helpers to remember you. Let this day. For your business to succeed, somebody say, Yeah, what I got. Somebody say, Ah, don't keep up. Whether you are tapping from America, whether you are tapping from Europe, whether you are tapping from Asia, whether you are tapping from Africa, I prophesy to you that thing that they have taken away from you in your dream, you will receive it physically in the name of Jesus. What belongs to you is belong to you. Now, the question is this. There is a question here. Yeah. Not to say, oh, Prophet Jeremiah is a preacher. No. What you learn there? What you learn? The thing you learn there. What you learn? Are you hearing me? We are talking about journey of life. What I am showing you, you have watched just now. I'm talking about every one of you. When you buy a car, the people that will never buy in your family, they will never ever be happy. Yes, when you build a house, the people that were around you never build. They say, why this man built? Let us go to attack and destroy. Oh yes. Let us take it over from him. Mm. I am not talking about person, people that who are at Ojobo. Except you are watching me from Ojobo. From my village. People say, why you call Ojobo always? I want to call my, I have to use my own as an example to you. I am talking about you. What you have watched, play to them, is you. When you marry, they want to come and take your husband from you. When you have a wife, they want to come and take your wife from you. Never give up. The small little business that you manage, the enemies will come. Where that fish were not in the river, where that bird were not in the sky, before the, the eagle entered the water, it's a question. I'm talking about your life. You're hoping the filling station. Why are you hoping the filling station? Your hands, the same hands I have, you also have the same hands. Go to the forest. Go to the river and farm and fish. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor. I am dangerous. I am dangerous. What belongs to me, nobody can take from me. What belongs to nobody can take it from me. The small, small boys that we are building essence is not better than me. Say not better than me. They are not better than me. What is happening? All these things that are happening in the in the animal world. Are you hearing me? In the reptile world and also the animal world, the bed world is talking about your life. It's a message to every one of you. You open a church. Why this brother open a church? They are on in order to take away the church from you. I have seen pastors open churches today. Other people that will work for them take over the church. Yes, Am I talking to somebody? You are talking to us, sir. The little business you do, they say this is not your land. Pack your things away from this place. Somebody say, what have I done? What have I done? Now listen, the question is here. There is something I want to now let you people know. There is something I want to let you know. Tell us now, ego, kites, it's from eagle family. Kites. If eagle can struggle for his daily bread, yet what God has given to him, the womb did not praise God. God still rescue him from his daily bread from his enemies. What about you that worshiping God? What about you that call Jesus? They don't have a defender. But you have a defender. Why are you afraid? No matter the situation of the turbulence of an aircraft on the air, the pilot never giving up. Yes, sir. You are a pilot. Hey. 
Whatever situation you are finding yourself, never give up in life. There is a good thing coming for you because you have come to the house of God. This bed never come down and begin to praise God and come together like this and praise the creator. But yet, God still rescued them. The things that what God has given to them from the enemies. What about you? There are people in your village they double cross their legs. When this brother children will come and build houses in this village. Holy Ghost! Fire! Hey. Not to enter into township, my brother. Not to enter worry is an issue. Yes, sir. Not to enter busha is an issue. Yes, sir. Where is your spiritual background? Ah. This world is so wicked for a man to be like this. Say, so believing on the God, they will take it from you. That was why you may be sitting. Many people have seen this one. Many people have seen this. The enemies came and struggled and take away from them. That was why you are seen in your dream. At times, some people see many money, but the time before they wake up, the money disappear. Some people cars disappear. Some people children disappear. Yes, sir, some people houses disappear. Yes, sir. A lot of things. Key disappear. The enemies are taken away from you. If God can now protect that ark from the arms, the God, what are we talking about? Ojobo people. Not tell me that. Those fishes were there. And they were also flying and that right at the sea. They have no right to go and take. Because God has given you a talent, a grace in order to build estates. But at times you see yourself in the rim of the spirit, you saw estates. But when it does come that time, you find yourself in the bush before you wake up. That will tell you that your blessings have been taken away. Yes, sir. At times you find yourself with white people in a dream. But physically, you are still suffering with Nigerians. Oh, stand up and pray this prayer. Hey. Say, who art thou? Who art thou? That taking my blessings every night. That taking my blessings every night. That confusing my life. That confusing my life. Discouraging my life. Destroying my life. Die. 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 Whosoever the prayer is there, destroy my life. Whosoever, whatever you are done, die, die. Every strong man, every strong woman, enough is enough. What belongs to you belongs to you. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. You may be seated. Sit down on top of your enemies. Pressure the pressure. There are some people they bought what's called they buy lands. They could not build and they sold the land. And they used the money for nothing. Am I talking to somebody? So we are talking to us, sir. Some bought car because of challenges. They now sold the car. What belonged to them? For auction, auction sales. They bought the 10 million. They bought the 5 million. They sold it 500,000. What a life. I'm talking about the struggle about your life. Yes, sir. What is going on in the realm of the spirit? That's what I'm telling you. When you look around your life, you begin to wonder, why me? My plans, six months time, January to June, ending. I am going to build a house. I am going to buy cars. But yet, you are in debt. There are powers, we call it strong men, in your village, that will come in order to take away your blessings from you. Unknown to you, these people are me Someone said, Be yes. Be yes. Holy Ghost. Fire. I speak to somebody. Any strong man in your village, uh, in your company, uh, money judge has jack your blessings. Uh, Let them paralyze. Uh, Viewers uh, overflow. Let them paralyze. Uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, you may be seated. Right up, Papa. This plate. If bed can now jealous another bed, what about the human being? Hey. If bed can jealous another bed, food, what about your compound people? Ah. Pray this prayer and say, Whosoever that jealous me, jealous me. This, year, this year, they must serve me. In Jesus' name. Hey, there are people that are flying because of you at night. Oh, yeah.
years anybody that who dare try it ah. tell them say I am Bermuda Triangle ah. say I am Bermuda Triangle, I am Bermuda Triangle. the 